Asia and the Pacific, roads are the lifelines connecting people to opportunity, to each other and to a brighter future. But as our region grows, so does the need for more sustainable infrastructure. By 2030, an estimated 8 million kilometres of new roads are needed to provide access and enable development. But at what cost? The Asian Development Bank recognises the urgent need to support our developing member countries to address this infrastructure gap responsibly. Roads contribute to 18% of global energy-related carbon dioxide emissions and significantly affect our landscapes, water systems and biodiversity. It's time for a change. This is why we have developed the ADB Green Roads Toolkit a resource for guiding the planning and design of roads that not only enable mobility, but also protect our planet. This toolkit is for government officials, project teams and practitioners involved in the planning, design, construction, maintenance and operations of roads. It provides a framework for identifying and integrating environmentally sustainable practices that can be tailored to the context of each project and country. From decarbonisation to fostering inclusive growth, the Green Roads Toolkit encompasses around 150 best practices across nine critical areas. It will guide project teams in recommending interventions that support the alignment of road investments with the Paris Agreement on Climate Change and other sustainability agendas. I'm Kirsty Rowan Marcus, Senior Transport Specialist at ADB, speaking to you from the India Resident Mission. Here in India, we're working very closely with Government of Maharashtra to pilot a number of interventions from ADB's Green Roads Toolkit. This is part of Government of Maharashtra's program to develop its coal road network. But I think one of the really interesting components of the Green Roads Toolkit that we are demonstrating in Maharashtra is using an integrated development approach to mobilise resources um, and institutions, not only for road improvement, but also to ensure that we're developing inclusive infrastructure. One example of this is the integrated service centres under development in Maharashtra, or Jana Savita Kendra, as they're called here. Um, each Jana Savita Kendra will be unique in its design and tailored to the needs of user groups in the specific areas based on um, informant interviews with women and child health ministry officers, local government units, um, cotton and fruit farmers, for example. And the aim of these integrated service centres is to provide vulnerable groups with access to basic health, sanitation, education and other important services. I wanted to share the words of the project director, uh, and that is that we aim not only to build roads, but to build lives too. So we hope to scale up the Green Roads initiatives even further on future programs in Maharashtra and to demonstrate the toolkit to other road subsector agencies here in India and also in South Asia. So for me, the, uh, the great value of the Green Roads toolkit is the, is the conversations that it enables us to have with our clients. Um, for my 49 kilometre road project in South Tajikistan that goes through very flat and very dry terrain. Um, you know, it, it, it automatically prompted questions that I otherwise would not have asked. So, uh, some examples. Um, Director Arab Zoda, sir, um, you know, how do we successfully decommission the abandoned petrol stations? Um, what national environment standards uh, govern this exercise and, and, and which specification uh, do we modify to actually um, complete this task? Um, Director Arab Zoda, um, the cattle on the road um, pose a high road safety risk. How are we going to manage this in the absence of fences? Um, and, and clearly um, the great value in, in focusing on fine tuning uh, works planning and maximising the use of local sources is, is valuable for all of our projects. So for me, the toolkit is a valuable, structured, disciplined process by which we can have a discussion on improving our project designs and, uh, and with its application, um, I'm sure that 
we will deliver better quality projects. So, um, so thank you uh, to Dr. Frank and the team for helping me on my project, which was a pilot. Thank you. Join us on this journey. Together, we can pave the way for green roads that lead to an inclusive, low carbon and resilient Asia and the Pacific.